Hello everyone and welcome to Swanky Spooky Saturday Special. This is The Park, a game created by Funcom, who are the guys who made The Secret World, and uh, this came out literally like two days before I'm recording this, and the photos uh, and footage and trailers and stuff just look so horrendously terrifying. Uh, so, I thought I'd play it. Tis, tis the season, I suppose, is the closest thing to an appropriate thing to say in regards to us. Um, I, you know how these things work. I don't know what's going on, so I'm just going to hit new game and let's, uh, well, let's just crap my pants. The park is a narrative experience best played in the dark room wearing headphones. It deals with subject matter that may be disturbing for some players. During the course of play, the park may manipulate graphics, audio, control settings, and your sanity. This is perfectly normal and something else. I was reading it too slow and dramatically to finish what it was saying. This is good. For the record, I am actually reaching those sort of setting requirements. I've got no lights, I've got just headphones on, and uh, I, I, I am very proud of my, of my headphones. Um, they are absolutely fantastic, so I'm going to hear all the horrible sounds that are going to probably be killing me oh, in this game. I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Where's Mr. Bear? Is that, is that me? I haven't seen Mr. Bear. Is that an actual child or is that a ghost child? Stay in the car. I'll go and ask information. Oh, I think because at the time of day there's kind of like a blue reflection going on. So yeah, so like... Hey, hey, is, did they say his name was Callum? Hey, Cal oh, that's a really sensitive mouth. I do apologize about having to pause and change the mouse sensitivity, but you know what, let's just very quickly deal with that. Let's put it down to like two. Head back and continue playing. I do apologize about that, ladies and gentlemen. There you go, it's much better. I do apologize. I believe it's the first time I've actually had to change settings uh, in... Uh... Attention patrons, Ooh. the park is now closed. Please what? make your way to the car park at your earliest convenience. Wait, where am I going? Please prepare the park for shutdown. Okay, press F to interact with the Examine plaque. Do you want to be closer? Oh, a little outline, I see, Callum yeah. was born the day this place opened. This is his favorite place in the world. A tribute to the untamed heart of Solomon Island and the people who used their talents to bring the dream of Nathaniel Winter to life. May this park be a place where joy and laughter are gathered and used to infect all those who follow after. Dedicated this... First day of May, 1977, James B. Longley. I am also going to put on subtitles in case I talk over any dialogue. You guys are welcome. Uh, is it... Uh, okay. Oh, hello. Hello, information desk. Are you okay, me? Am I okay, me? Hey, Lorraine. Lorraine. So I'm Lorraine, my son is Callum. People lose things all the time. What? Take a deep breath and think about the last place you saw your son's teddy bear. Hey, stop! Oh crap, was that Callum running in? Ah, crap. No, kid, why have you done this? Why have you run into an aban- not abandoned. Why have you run into an amusement park? Can be, they're not- No, they can be- Wait for mommy, Callum! Can I just pre- Can I just- Callum, where are you going? This way, mommy! Oh, wait, what? Wait for mommy, Callum! This way- Oh, so that highlights things I can interact with. That's interesting. Good mechanic for a game which about exploring. Oh, that's loads of writing. <laughs> Welcome to Atlantic Island Park. When I first came to 
visit Solomon. Oh my god, that's really tiny writing. I feel deep. I fell deeply in love with its natural beauty. It's a scenic place, and I created many of my best memories here. I wanted to create a place that captures the essence of Solomon Island, a place where families would bring their children to create memories of their own. I invite you to explore this park that we have created, from the Ferris wheel, which rivals the local lighthouse for the best views of the area, to the sideshow alley, where we have many facilitating games and objects from the local area to explore. I'm not wearing my glasses, hence why it's taking me a little bit longer to read this than normal. Um, for the little ones, try the Tunnel of Tales for a... Mm, something. For a... No. Gentle, maybe gentle family friendly retelling of timeless fairy tales. If that sounds a little too slow, grab an adult and jump on the bumper cars. Full throttle fun for everyone. For teens, pump up your adrenaline by going through a spin cycle on the Octotron. Then defy the laws of gravity on our award winning roller coaster. Finish it all up in the house of horrors, but be warned, it might scare all the fun out of you. How is- what? Okay. <laughs> For the big- I, oh crap, I just realised I'm gonna have to go into a goddamn haunted house, aren't I? Oh, and it's by the guys that made Secret Worlds, so there's gonna be- oh, there's gonna be really horrible things for me to experience in there. Crap. For the <laughs> for the big ones, take a romantic spin on the ferris wheel with your significant other and take in the natural beauty of Solomon Island. Follow up with a stroll through the exotic sights and wild games of the Sideshow Alley. They're... Frolly? No, they're... they're tr sorry, they're truly... I truly got my glasses first. There <laughs> truly is something for everyone at Atlantic Island Park and places to eat, places to drink, and so on and so forth. Nathaniel Winter welcomes you to Atlantic City, Atlantic, Atlantic Island Park. I'm just messing up my sentences. Oh, hello. There's something special about the entrance to an amusement park. A line drawn between the real world and the world of whimsy within. On this side, the apathy of our everyday lives. And on the other, anything we might dare to dream. It's no wonder Callum ran back inside. I wouldn't want to leave either. Attention employee, the park is now Oh closed. crap. Have a safe journey home. Oh no, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Things are all oh no. Oh no. Yeah, this is already a place I don't want to be anymore. <laughs> It's gone like all like just horrible and unpleasant for like five seconds, and my, I'm just no, 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 not fog. Oh god, the park. What Toggle here? running. Okay, cool. Good to know. I don't. Oh, I don't know if I need to be exploring. If I need to be checking my surroundings. I'm. Oh whoa! Come. Why would you run towards that? In what world is that giant, terrifying face? Happy fun playtime. Okay, no, he's not going in. That's oh. Well, he's not going in. It bats are coming out. Stop, Callum. Have I got a stamina meter, like an off. Sc uh. Oh no, I think it just made me walk so I could. Ex yeah, cool. Good design there. Big eye catching thing to make me look where it wants me to look. That I find is one of the hardest things to do in first person horror. Get the player to look where the designer wants you to look. Examine shoe. I think this belongs to Calm. Okay. Have I picked it up? Oh, I can actually see my legs. That is a rarity in first person games. Awesome. Chad the chipmunk, huh? Just a drunk guy in a suit. Chad can be seen in daily ice sculpting shows in the following locations. 11am side show rally, 1pm the Arctic Trial, and 3pm the park entrance. Chad the chipmunk, worst in class. Chad can't even seem to pass. Chad gets angry, likes to fight. Chad is beaten every night. Chad will have a dead end job. Chad will die a useless slob. Oh god, that's horrible. Okay. 
So if I just randomly lock off, look off to the side while doing this, because I'm wearing headphones, obviously I've got left and right audio a bit clearer than normal. So in my, in, from what I'm hearing, I don't know if you guys are watching some headphones or not, I will be hearing things from left or right. No. no. <laughs> Why am I playing a horror game? Cam, Who's... Stay where you are. Whose idea is this? Oh crap! Oh, oh Jesus Christ! Uh. Come on, mommy. No, no, no! How do I get on? How do I get on? How do I get on? How do I? Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. How do I get on it? Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, it stopped for me. Okay, fair enough. Oh, I don't want. I know. No. Like, I've had loads of really awesome memories of going to theme parks and stuff, like at any of you fellow Brits. Uh, like, theme, like uh, Thorpe Park, Orson Towers, Chessington. Oh, no. In all fairness, it's actually quite a terrifying duck-related incident um, on uh, the log flume at Orson Towers. Because after a while, because uh, I believe it was the longest log flume in Europe or something like that, and then they um, they rebranded it with a sponsorship from Imperial Here Leather, which is a, forest, there lived a poor woodcutter, his which is a and his two children, like toiletries a company. Hansel, and a girl named Gretel. They were very poor and had very little to bite or sup. And um. Like the mascot of the company was a, was a duck for this particular range of products. I'll tell this during the tale of Hansel and Gretel. Piss. No, my wife, I cannot do that," said the man. Then we will all four starve, you fool. Hansel and Gretel overheard their parents talking, and Gretel began to weep. Do not fret, Gretel, Hansel said. He crept out of the hut and gathered white stones from the ground. What's that, lads? Is that Chad the Chipmunk? I'm watching you. I'm watching you now because you're going to do something. Just like the duck. So yeah, so we're going through this dark tunnel. The next morning, and the just the timing of it. Into the forest. Is that a dude in a suit or is that... Their mother gives them a slice oh my of god. Oh my god. This is horrible. Oh, I'm not okay with this. Oh, Jesus day. Christ on the bike. Shit. Clever Hansel leaves a trail of white stones. Oh, I don't want to look away, but at the same time, I don't. Oh my God, this is horrible! Children wait a while. Christ! Follow the trail back to their parents' house. Theme parks are horrible places. I don't want to go to theme parks anymore. <laughs> See. Receiving a thorough scolding mm. from their parents for getting lost in the woods. Jesus the Christ! Sent to bed without any supper. Hansel tried to sneak out and collect more white stones, but found that the door was locked. Tomorrow I will take them into the woods myself, the wife told the woodcutter. In the morning, their mother gave them a slice of bread and led them deep into the forest once again. What's that? What? What? But what? Hansel broke his bread into pieces and left okay. the breadcrumbs to lead them safely home. Oh my god, I'm, I'm just so on edge right now. Jesus Christ. Lord. Abandoned by their parents and unable to find the trail home, the children wandered in the forest for three days. And yeah, so I'm going in a dark tunnel, and then very suddenly, um, this giant duck just bursts out of the dark with this just, like, doomsaying quack, and it was, it was, well, in all fairness, the time has taken me to tell this story, worse things have happened in this goddamn tunnel of death and misery. In all fairness, you guys must know the story of Hansel and Gretel. Sniffing the air and peering around with cloudy eyes. 
Like, I would look at the probably well-designed, like, shadow puppets on the wall, but I'm just... There's just... Oh my god, this is... I don't know why I've done this to myself. I don't handle horror games very well. And the fact that I'm on a rail, I've just got to do... Right now, I've just got to do... I'm at the game's mercy. I can pick the game, I can't go back, I can't just stop progressing, which is, in all fairness, kind of how I dealt with a lot of my problems in Soma. I was kind of, oh, scary thing, I'm going to wait in this ventilation shaft for five, ten minutes or whatever I did in the end. Nothing to fear here. Come inside. And then the, the witch. Urged, and the children, yeah. still licking their sweets, followed. Oh shit, what was that? What was that? Why was that? I guess it's to, to reflect how, uh, how the tale is going. Oh, that's not okay. Time passed, and poor Hansel refused to eat, fearing the day that the witch would eat him. The witch, for her part, grew impatient. Today, I will cook and eat your brother, Gretel. Climb inside and light the oven. But Gretel I feel like I'm not talking enough because I feel like I shouldn't talk I over the, the game, but Where it's, like I said, it's the story of Hansel and Gretel, you guys. You guys know Hansel and Gretel, and then they push him in the oven, and so on and so forth. I think it's more a case of I'm just anxiously sitting here, knowing the game is going to do something at like the climax of the story of Hansel and Gretel. I could be wrong. I mean, I'm probably not. Unless it's not going to, because it knows I'm expecting it to. Mm-hmm. And then because even children can't survive on Oh Christ, there's a version of a story I haven't heard before. And ate her. Jesus Christ, is that part of the story? I feel like following Callum on like a set route, set pace boat ride. Oh god, no. No. No 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 no. Oh, that, oh. Of all the things to betray me, I did not expect it to be. A, a duck. A boat duck. Oh, that was a, oh, that's a dick move. <laughs> that, oh. I think it was like the lack of noise. Can I get, can I get off now? Please clank it off. Can I get off? Oh, no. No. Bad duck. Bad duck. Okay then. Well. Gretel. I used to read it to Callum when the electricity was shut off. Did you mention Those the eating of the witch at the, the end? The whole world against them. The forest, the birds, the old witch, even their own parents. I used to imagine that Callum and I were the kids in that story. Not mother and son, but brother and sister, hand in hand. That's a bit strange. Kind world. Oh, look, yeah, I guess that part. Hungry, looking for our own house made of candy. Looking for the sweetness that could take the pain away. Because if I'm honest, there's, there's no I'm implication of a of a terrible place. Father figure. Where the tree branches reach like claws. At this point in time. I could be wrong. I could be completely jumping to conclusions, like I did a couple times with um. With Life is Strange and various other games that I've played, um, just because I kind of like figuring out the narrative as soon as I can. But yeah, I'm, the implication so far is that it's it's Lorraine and uh, oh, and Callum. Accident. This place. Oh Christ! Nope, nope. Okay, I'm not gonna. Uh, oh, do I read that? 
Despite the constant interruptions at work, Atlantic Island Park will be opening on time. The governor is booked to cut the ribbon, so the only real question is whether we will have any customers. It's, I'm not truly worried the customers will come out of simple curiosity. I deduced that what was needed was the from the uh, from the certain writings of Archie Henderson. It's astonishing to think that a resonance of positive emotions can be used to fuel such a process. Henderson himself chose to use negative, and that caused some of the taint that still lingers in this place. I will not make his mistakes very soon. I will know if this has all been for nothing. Okay. So it looks like the production of the park has had some uh, questionable issues in preparation for it. Alright. Texturing is lovely in this, but in all fairness, that's kind of... Oh, the Octotron! That's kind of to be expected, considering I believe this game was made in Unreal Engine 4, and I'm really excited. I think this is my first Unreal Engine 4 game, actually, thinking about it. And what horrible things are going to happen to me on the way to the Octotron. This old thing used to make the blood run to my head. It'd make me dizzy. Examine report. Snapped. Those poor kids. Witness name Norma Creed. Statement We were waiting for our turn on the ride. Frank, me, and the boys. This fellow in the chipmunk suit is making an ice carving while people look, took photographs. Lawrence wanted to go over to him, but I've always been a bit wary of those suits. They give me the creeps. It's silly, I know. Anyway, the chipmunk man, he was carving and picking away at the ice. And at first we thought he was making some animal, like a tiger or a lion. The music's getting horrible in the background. But as more and more ice fell away, when you first looked, it was a, a human face smiling out of that block of ice. But the more you looked at it, the more you saw that there was something not quite right about the proportion. Something unnatural that made your heart begin to... Be begin to beat just a little bit faster, like you were praying this... And that thing in the ice was a hunter. But then these teenagers walked up and one of them made a face at the carving and said something rude to the guy in the chipmunk suit. And then, well, he went berserk. For a few moments, it was chaos. Everybody was running away from the guy who had one of the teenagers on the ground. And, and he was stab, stab, stabbing with the ice pick and blood was spraying and, and people were screaming. And, and Frank and I had the kids and we were dragging them away as fast as we could. And the last thing I saw before Frank dragged me away was that the eyeball of one of the poor kids had landed on the ice sculpture, making the horrible creature look more or less alive. Jesus. The hell happened? Callum, don't be on the Octotron. I forbid you to be on the Octotron. Callum, come back here right now! I don't... Yeah, why would I want to ride the Octotron? Although, let's face it, right now, I think the, the, the main reason we want to watch it is morbid curiosity. I can't get on while it's morbid. Oh. Does that stop it? That seems stopped. I mean, why, why not? Why the... I mean, I'm here. I might as well. In for, a, in for a penny, in for a pound is one of my three life philosophies. Something's in the- something's in the control room. Something's in the control room. Something's in the control room. I'm not crazy. Yeah, something's in the- oh, yep, 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 yep. I like that you don't have full- view you can't just like swivel around like you're being possessed you ooh, you've got a limit as to where you can look and the such oh Christ what in the hell was that no 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 this isn't okay what the hell was that what the hell was that 
Is it like the the ghost of the guy who found this place? Who's still in there? Oh shit, has he got Callum? Don't have Callum. Oh shit, of course he's not there. Crap. Callum! Where did you go? Is that where I came on? Come to mommy, Callum. Yeah, it must be. Yeah, I think it is. I do remember walking around that thing for quite a while. What the hell was that giant thing with the top hat? I mean, obviously, other than the thing of nightmares. that lashes like a whip and scars our insides. I feel like I'm gonna regret looking at the water. Oh my god, I'm the, I'm the worst person to be playing this for you guys because I'm gonna be so scared to explore and look at things. Just oh my goodness. We build our world from expectations, and the world that I had built for Callum is no different. He was so real, so there, and so far from my expectations. And they shattered, and as they fell in pieces, that one treacherous thought became a new foundation. All of the love that we shared, all of the warmth and goodness that followed, built on a single traitorous thought. Nope. 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 Come back, Callum! No, that's well, that's not okay. Mommy needs to see you, Callum. What? Is this bumper car? I just oh my, this is horrible. Where are you? Mother duck Constant crashes in eighties music. I guess it floats someone's boat. Where are you? It always seems to be to my left. But... Wait for mommy. <laughs> Am I supposed to get on another ride? Okay. Yeah, that, that one's on. Do I get in it? Oh my god. Oh, okay. Oh, an accident report. Francis, uh, I can't, I can't. Why am I not wearing my glasses? I'm really sorry, guys. I'm kind of ruining this a little bit by not being able to read everything properly. Brief description of the accident or incident. During the transport of bumper cars into the arena, one of the straps attached, attaching the load to the truck came untied, causing a cascade of bumper cars onto Francis, who was standing directing the driver. Francis was crushed by the weight of the cars. Oh my god, scrap injuries caused. Francis was killed. Did the injured employees see a doctor? Uh, yes. If yes, did you file an employer's portion of a worker's compensation form? Yes. Dexter, the truck driver, claims to have seen someone on the back of the load undoing the straps. Nobody else reported seeing that. The sheriff has requested that Dexter provide them with urine samples. What could have been done to prevent this accident or incident? Double checking of the straps after transit should be mandatory and drug screen drug screening for all drivers. She's oh Christ, what now? Oh crap. Oh crap. Am I about to die? Oh I think the unsettling, the most unsettling thing so far has been nothing's tried to kill me, so I don't know if there are any death states or if the only thing preventing my progress is going to be my own fear of what's next. Where are you, Calm? Nope. Ah, oh, there are going to be clowns. It's a matter of public record that I am a failure as a mother. Oh, what happens? When Callum was very small, I left him asleep in the car while I ran an errand. Don't even remember what it was. Oh no. When I came back, the sheriff was standing next to the car, watching my boy through the window. Shit. I didn't like what I saw in his eyes. Judgment. 
He wrote me the ticket without saying a word. Just the scratch scratch of his pen on the notepad. When he gave it to me, our eyes met. I know what you're going through. My daughter, Helen, she... Just get some help. Help was a bolt of lightning. Help was a thousand volts surging through my veins. Help is agony. I'd rather die. I wanted to scream. I'd rather you pulled your gun and shot me. But instead my mouth said, Yes, Sheriff. Hmm. So Lorraine and, and, and Callum have been through a lot already and they're about to go through like a goddamn nightmare theme park continually delayed by the incompetence of the uh, something so this is murders the patient no the, I can't read that I'm really sorry is that they are locals and so they believe a lot of the rumors about what old man Henderson used to do here they grew up on those tales every time a bolt comes loose or a wrench goes missing those fools are crossing them crossing themselves against the black magic okay um, of course that is why I chose this site over the other potentials Solomon Island is a nexus with dark energies and the thought of all that power just dissipating beneath the earth here it makes my skin crawl I called in a few favors back in Brooklyn and got someone at the local academy to see if they had any interesting books about local history. Turns out they do, and it turns out that Old Man Henderson has some pretty strong connections to the Brooklyn crowd. Perhaps something something he wrote will help me find the piece of the plans that I was missing. Okay. Do I go on the carousel? I mean, I probably don't have to, but I feel like I, I feel like I probably should. Let's do it. Yeah, you just like. Here's the thing. I am doing this for entertainment purposes as well as for the the pants shitting reasons as well. So, listicle of life philosophy uh, number one: in for a penny, in for a pound. So, if we slow this down, do I need to do it? Yeah. Kind of pull that a few times to sort of get it to slow down to a state in which I can get in the ride. Is that stopped? Oh, do I there we go. There we go. Ferris wheel. And how? And how fast it's going to go? And how much it's going to fling me out? Oh god! Don't, don't have something appear like opposite me in the ride. That would be horrible because it's just going to be so close, and I can't do anything about it. So let's just, let's just go for a lovely ride on the ferris wheel and look out over the mountain range. Is. And the terrifying foggy forest. People come into your life for a reason. Dad used to say that before Mom ran off. And I'm getting some more After exposition, that, which is always good. Drank. Things were different for Don and I. When we met, I was sweeping the floor at Susie's diner. He came in with some workers, but he didn't try to flirt or cop a feel like the others. He just ordered a coffee and sat there, watching me. When my shift was over, he offered to walk me home. I don't know how to describe that walk. We talked and laughed and eventually kissed. It felt like love. It felt like a fairy tale. I can't tell you if Callum was made that night or one of the ones that followed. But I think it has to be that night. That one perfect night. Don and I moved in together, but then... Oh, well, no. He died. Oh, what happened? According to the supervisor, his safety harness failed when he was working on the top of the Ferris wheel. Don was there one moment, and then gone. Oh, no. That's awful. Sometimes people leave your life for no reason. I was three months pregnant with Callum. Fairy tale fucking over. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah, the pull of rain and Callum, they've just been through so much. Where is it? Oh, hooray! Hooray. Oh. 